Are you going for this, Billy? Are you going for this competition? Yeah, massively, absolutely. I'm a competitive chap at heart anyway, so I wouldn't enter a competition where I didn't think I could win. So wow. now, sort of, we're here last nine, so why not? Why did you choose to do a dessert today? I just thought I should show you that I can cook desserts. I'm not just a uh, meat and two veg chap. Billy, I don't think any of the stretch of the imagination would ever have you in the bracket of meat and two veg, son. <laughs> what is your dessert? A pear frangipan tart fin with um, poached pears, almond twill, and a sherry vinegar ice cream. Really? Really, yeah. Looking forward to it. Cheers. The ice cream is my nemesis. I've tried to do an ice cream previously in the competition that failed to set, so. Fingers crossed it, it comes out OK. A sherry vinegar ice cream, something I've never had before. I just hope that that sherry vinegar doesn't curdle the milk. These work. I've always seen Jen as a classic cook, as a safe cook. She has started to break out of it. Perhaps Jen's getting a little bit more dairy. I feel excited about today. Um, I've practiced my dish I'm doing several times, so I just really want to make sure that I do it right today and get into semi-finals. Jane, you're making a pudding. I am doing a pudding. Chocolate, cherry and almond brownie with chocolate and almond macarons, a cherry sauce and amaretto cream. Why this? Why, why a brownie? The key thing here is the flavours. They're all flavours that are some of my absolute favourites. And the brownie just gives a really lovely texture. Oh, I'd love to eat it with a great big spoon. I just don't know how you make it pretty. That's over to you. <laughs> Hopefully I'll do well. A chocolate brownie at this stage of the competition? It better be a good brownie. It needs to be crispy on the outside, stodgy in the centre and cooked properly all the way through. Last 60 seconds. Quick, 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 quick. That's it. Stop. I think that's a big plate of food, isn't it? It's a big boys. What's up there? <laughs> Whoa, stunning. Feels will collapse a bit. Oh. Billy's sweet dish is a pear frangipan tart fien, served with cider and blackberry poached pears, salted candied almonds, an almond twill, and a sherry vinegar ice cream. Not a huge fan of this one, Billy. Uh, your pastry needs to be cooked longer. And it needs more pear to make it juicier. However, lo love that sherry vinegar ice cream. I mean, because you say vinegar ice cream, you expect it to be really, really sharp, but it's not. And what it's done is it's taken on the lovely depth and sweetness of sherry. I'm not as disappointed as Greg is. I like your jewels of poached pear and blackberries and the um, twill. I think they are really delicious, especially with your sherry vinegar ice cream. Weren't really the comments I was expecting, in all honesty. I, th I thought the criticism was going to come in the ice cream, so it shows what I know. Mortgage advisor Jen's dish is a chocolate almond and cherry brownie with chocolate-filled almond macarons, amaretto cream and a cherry sauce. Your sauce is like one of those Medicines you had when a kid that you really liked. It's got that sort of sweetness that makes you feel good inside. But I question whether a brownie and a macaron with a sauce belong on one plate as a dessert. Like your macarons, really nice. They're, they're crisp on the outside, they're spongy in the middle. Your chocolate brownie is dense, but I like the flavour of that as well, especially with cherry and cherry and chocolate. I like. I don't like this sauce. I find it far too sour. That dish needed to be perfect, and uh, they didn't love it, so I don't know. 